Peter Tate, physicist. Peter Guffrey Tate, FRSC, 28 April 1831, 4 July 1901, was a Scottish mathematical physicist and early pioneer in thermodynamics. He is best known for the mathematical physics textbook Treatise on Natural Philosophy, which he co-wrote with Kelvin, and his early investigations into knot theory. His work on knot theory contributed to the eventual formation of topology as a mathematical discipline. His name is known in graph theory mainly for Tate's conjecture. He is also one of the namesakes of the Tate-Nesser theorem on osculating circles. Early life. Tate was born in Dalkeith on 28 April 1831, the only son of Mary Ronaldson and John Tate, secretary to the 5th Duke of Buckleuch. He was educated at Dalkeith Grammar School, then Edinburgh Academy. He then studied maths and physics at the University of Edinburgh, and then went to Peterhouse, Cambridge, graduating as senior wrangler and first Smith's Prizeman in 1852. As a fellow and lecturer of his college, he remained at the university for a further two years, before leaving to take up the professorship of mathematics at Queen's College, Belfast. There he made the acquaintance of Thomas Andrews, whom he joined in researches on the density of ozone and the action of the electric discharge on oxygen and other gases, and by whom he was introduced to Sir William Rowan Hamilton and Quaternions. Middle Years In 1860, Tate succeeded his old master, James D. Forbes as Professor of Natural Philosophy at the University of Edinburgh, and occupied the chair until shortly before his death. The first scientific paper under Tate's name only was published in 1860. His earliest work dealt mainly with mathematical subjects, and especially with quaternions, of which he was the leading exponent after their originator, William Rowan Hamilton. He was the author of two textbooks on them, one an elementary treatise on Quaternions, 1867, written with the advice of Hamilton, though not published till after his death, and the other an introduction to Quaternions, 1873, in which he was aided by Philip Kelland, 1808-1879, one of his teachers at the University of Edinburgh. Quaternions was also one of the themes of his address as president of the Mathematical Section of the British Association for the Advancement of Science in 1871. He also produced original work in mathematical and experimental physics. In 1864, he published a short paper on thermodynamics, and from that time his contributions to that and kindred departments of science became frequent and important. In 1871, he emphasized the significance and future importance of the principle of the dissipation of energy second law of thermodynamics. In 1873, he took thermoelectricity for the subject of his discourse as Ridda lecturer at Cambridge, and in the same year, he presented the first sketch of his well-known thermoelectric diagram before the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Two years later, Researches on charcoal vacua with James Dewar led him to see the true dynamical explanation of the Crookes radiometer in the large mean free path of the molecule of the highly rarefied air. From 1879 to 1888, he engaged in difficult experimental investigations. These began with an inquiry into what corrections were required for thermometers operating at great pressure. This was for the benefit of thermometers employed by the Challenger expedition for observing deep sea temperatures and were extended to include the compressibility of water, glass, and mercury. This work led to the first formulation of the Tate equation, which is widely used to fit liquid density to pressure. Between 1886 and 1892, he published a series of papers on the foundations of the kinetic theory of gases, the fourth of which contained what was, according to Lord Kelvin, the first proof ever given of the Waterston-Maxwell theorem equipartition theorem of the average equal partition of energy in a mixture of two gases. 
About the same time, he carried out investigations into impact and its duration. Many other inquiries conducted by him might be mentioned, and some idea may be gained of his scientific activity from the fact that a selection only from his papers, published by the Cambridge University Press, fills three large volumes. This mass of work was done in the time he could spare from his professorial teaching in the university. For example, in 1880 he worked on the four-color theorem and proved that it was true if and only if no snarks were planar. Later years, in addition, he was the author of a number of books and articles. Of the former, the first, published in 1856, was on the dynamics of a particle, and afterwards there followed a number of concise treatises on thermodynamics, heat, light, properties of matter, and dynamics, together with an admirably lucid volume of popular lectures on recent advances in physical science. With Lord Kelvin, he collaborated in writing the well-known treatise on natural philosophy. Thomson and Tate, as it is familiarly called T, and T was the author's own formula, was planned soon after Lord Kelvin became acquainted with Tate on the latter's appointment, his professorship in Edinburgh, and it was intended to be an all-comprehensive treatise on physical science, the foundations being laid in kinematics and dynamics, and the structure completed with the properties of matter, heat, light, electricity, and magnetism. But the literary partnership ceased in about 18 years, when only the first portion of the plan had been completed. The friendship, however, endured for the remaining 23 years of Tate's life. Tate collaborated with Balfour Stewart in The Unseen Universe, which was followed by paradoxical philosophy. It was in his 1875 review of The Unseen Universe that William James first put forth his will to believe doctrine. Tate's articles include those he wrote for the ninth edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica on Light, Mechanics, Quaternions, Radiation, and Thermodynamics, and the biographical notices of Hamilton and James Clerk Maxwell. He died in Edinburgh on 4 July 1901. He is buried in the second terrace down from Prince's Street in the burial ground of St. John's Episcopal Church, Edinburgh. Topology The Tate conjectures are three conjectures made by Tate in his study of knots. The Tate conjectures involve concepts in knot theory such as alternating knots, chirality, and writhe. All of the Tate conjectures have been solved, the most recent being the Fliping conjecture, proved by Morwen Thistlethwaite and William Menasco in 1991. Publications Dynamics of a Particle, 1856 Treatise on Natural Philosophy, 1867 v1 and v2 pdf slash djvu at the internet archive an elementary treatise on quaternions 1867 pdf slash djvu copy of the first ed at the internet archive and pdf slash djvu copy of the third ed at the internet archive elements of natural philosophy 1872 one PDF slash DJ Vu at the Internet Archive. Non mathematical portion of treaties on natural philosophy. Sketch of thermodynamics 1877. PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. Recent advances in physical science 1876. PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. Heat 1884, PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. Light 1884, PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. Properties of Matter 1885, PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. Dynamics 1895, PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. The Unseen Universe, 1875, New Edition, 1901. Scientific Papers, Vol. 1, 1898, 1900 PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. Scientific Papers, Vol. 
two eighteen ninety eight nineteen hundred PDF slash DJ Vu copy at the Internet Archive. Private Life. Tate was married to Margaret Archer Porter, 1839-1926, the sister of one William Archer Porter, a lawyer and educationist, who served as the principal of Government Arts College, Kumbakanam and tutor, and secretary to the Maharaja of Mysore, two James Porter Master of Peterhouse, Cambridge, and three Jane Bailey Porter, who married Alexander Crumb Brown, the Scottish organic chemist. Tate was an enthusiastic golfer and, of his seven children, two, Frederick Guthrie Tate, 1870-1900, and John Guthrie Tate, 1861-1945, went on to become gifted amateur golf champions. He was an all-round sportsman and represented Scotland at international level in rugby union. Tate himself had, in 1891, invoked the Magnus effect to explain the influence of spin on the flight of a golf ball. His daughter Edith Tate was married to Reverend Harry Reed, who later became Bishop of Edinburgh. His son William Archer Porter Tate was a civil engineer. Recognition. Tate was a lifelong friend of James Clerk Maxwell, and a portrait of Tate by Harrington Mann is held in the James Clerk Maxwell Foundation Museum in Edinburgh. There are several portraits of Tate by Sir George Reed. One, painted about 1883, is owned by the National Galleries of Scotland, to which it was given by the artist in 1902. Another portrait was unveiled at Peterhouse, Cambridge in October 1902, paid for by the Master and Fellows of Peterhouse, where Tate had been an honorary fellow. One of the chairs in the Department of Physics at the University of Edinburgh is the Tate Professorship. Peter Guthrie Tate Road on Edinburgh University's King's Buildings Complex is named in his honor.